Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Gray Kitchen. We're super happy to have you here. Um, so I'm Marta and this is Justin. Uh, we are here. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. It is storming so bad here in Virginia Beach and we wanted to grill so we can't grill. So we're going to use our quick cooker to make barbecue ribs. Barbecue root beer ribs. We've never done it before but I hear it's gonna be good. I'm sure it will be. So um, we have here uh, some pork um, ribs. Baby or, back ribs. Baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. And um, some barbecue sauce, some root beer, and some of Pampered Chef's uh, barbecue, smoky barbecue rub, okay? <coughs> so, and that's Odin, say hello. All right, so Justin is gonna talk to you about his, <coughs> his prep work and I'm gonna get Odin to be quiet. Okay, so we have we have the ribs here. Uh, we are going to be using three tablespoons of the rub. I have two measured out into this bowl right here, but I wanted to demonstrate one of the good things about the stackable uh, spoon sets. So they work great. They fit into the container, the spice containers, unlike some. So if you have an ordinary tablespoon. It does not fit in these containers, spice containers. But this, from the stackable spoons, very easy go, uh, to get down into the bottom of the spice uh, container and add another tablespoon to, the, to make three. All right, so now he's going to um, pull the membrane which is my least favorite part of the entire thing off of the ribs. So on the back of the ribs, there's a, there's a very uh, smooth and, and uh, slick membrane. Uh, I've got half of it peeled up right now just to, for a kind of ease of demonstration. But you, 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 if you use the uh, small paring knife or, or utility knife or uh, even the back of a spoon or uh, to get underneath the edge of the membrane, it, peels up like this. Uh, you need to use a paper towel because it's really slick to pull it the rest of the way off. Off it comes and can be discarded. Why do you do that? You do that because that allows your rub to penetrate the the back, both sides of the ribs and gives you a better flavor. And more tender. Allows it to tenderize. Alright, so now it's time to Spice. So our three tablespoons of the rub, we're going to uh, rub on both sides of the meat. See, he could be a he could be a masseuse or a chiropractor. <laughs> get back in alignment. <laughs> Make sure we get all of the ends, both sides. Flip the ribs over. Quiet, you should be talking. Yes, it's a like well, Julia. This is what you do. We're letting the meat rest. Be the Swedish chef. Brandy, brandy, brandy. <laughs> That's right. How about, right. It, how about a little bit of emerald? Bam! Don't put that one there, though. Oh, yeah, we won't. Well, we don't want to withhold any, right? So we'll get the rest of it on there. Right down there. All right. So now he is going to cut it into four so that it will fit inside of the quick cooker inside pot. So. The quick cooker has two parts, um, right here. So this is the inside, so he's going to cut them, because obviously you can see that this rack of ribs isn't going to fit. So he's going to chop them into four bite-sized pieces, well, cook-sized pieces anyway. Using the chef's knife, Ooh, forged steel, forged steel tang. <laughs> A little closer to your hand. Go here. 
Look at how nicely that knife just goes right through there. Bam. Done. So tell them what you're cutting on. What are you cutting oh, on? Oh, we're cutting on the flexible cutting board, which has all kinds of, uh, or cutting mat, which has all kinds of uh, handy information written upon it. This one happens to have, you know, the difference in uh, cuts, medium dice, small dice, and then it also has a uh, handy measuring if you are really, if it says cut into one inch pieces and you really want to make sure it's an inch. You that's right, that. that's for our OCD cookers. He's going to pick up the mat right now and dump all the, the beautiful um, seasoning that we missed inside so that we get every bit of the three tablespoons. There we go. Yum. Into the yum, sink yum. Goes. Look at how good that looks. Okay, so the next thing he's going to do is he is going to um, add the root beer right directly into the inner pot okay so we have our root beer measured out in uh, into our uh measuring cup that is good for dry and liquids uh, this recipe actually calls for six ounces so it's handy that this is graduated in ounces and cups and for you metric folks milliliters all right so he's just going to pour it right in there all right you can hear it bubbling all right He's going to pick it up and he's going to walk over to the quick cooker. And turn it, hey y'all. Okay. So. So uh, now we will set it to, to the meat setting. Beef and pork. The, beef and pork setting rather because there is a poultry setting. So there's the beef pork setting. Beef pork setting. So it's going to take 35 minutes uh, for this to cook, uh, which is much better than the normal day uh, where you have to parboil it and then you have to um, let it cook and it's a mess. So, all right, let's get the lid on it. All right, so the lid is on and now you just hit start and happiness continues. All right, so we have to um, still mix um, some barbecue sauce after, but we'll cut it off now and I'll mix it, uh, mix the tape, uh, the tape, mix the recording, uh, shortly when 35 minutes are up. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, 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 we're back. It's been about 35 minutes. Uh, well, 45 when you allow it to sit for 10 minutes. So, um, Justin's going to open it up. Here we go. Look at how pretty those are. Ooh, that steam, huh? Mmm. Too bad there's not smell of vision. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna take them out and we're gonna put them on uh, the broiling pan so that we can stick them in the broiler after we put some barbecue sauce on them to just to get them caramelized and a little crispy. You're more than welcome to eat them just right now after you put the barbecue sauce on. <coughs> All right. So there is a cup of leftover juices in the bottom. Justin is going to grab the barbecue sauce, <clears throat> which we've measured out in our glass prep bowl. And he's going to use the spatula or the scraper to make sure he gets all the barbecue sauce in there. And we're going to set it to sear. Cancel. We're going to set it to sear and we're only going to use it for five minutes a time. Let's start. All right. I know it's six minutes. I just gave you an extra minute. So it says to, to watch it <clears throat> and keep stirring it to make sure that it doesn't burn. But you just want it to, to uh, thicken up. Thicken up, yeah. So he's going to do that. We'll come back later in just a minute. To go along with our dinner, we made some mac and cheese um, in the pasta maker with, uh, took six minutes to make with macaroni noodles, some water, then we put it in the microwave uh, with the silicone drain lid for six minutes. 
uh, pulled it out, added our butter, our milk, our cheese, <clears throat> and away we go. I even put some, some mustard in it. All right, my people, it's been about four minutes. And if you look, it's thickened up. It smells so yummy. Here are the ribs right here waiting to be basted. So we're going to use the Pamper Chef Basting Brush, which is a universal tool anytime you need to baste a grilling product or bread um, when you're baking or pretzels. Um, the really nice thing is uh, it has a hook on it so that you can set it on the side of your baking bowl um, and it holds it, which is uh, a phenomenal, useful tool. No more dirty handles. So, all right. Just one minute, we're going to hit cancel. Cancel, it's over here. All right. Now, this is really hot on the inside, so uh, you may want to lift it up and pour it into something else. All right, and we're back. He dumped it in this bowl, and I'm going to give him the basing brush. and juicy so we can caramelize all the yummy bits. And then we'll put more on the floor. Absolutely. Alright, we're going to put it under the broiler. See you in a minute. Alright folks, here it is. Dinner. Yum. We cooked the broccoli in the micro steamer. So go ahead and get you one of those and steam your veggies up yummy. All right, catch y'all later.